Welcome to today's lesson and for this particular question we have to solve this quadratic equation here but we're going to be using completing the square. Now the first step when completing the square is to try and eliminate the constant here. Now to do that I'll need to add 25 and if I do that to the left hand side I must add 25 to the right hand side to keep the equation balanced. Now this 25 will cancel with this one and what I'm left with is 2x squared plus 8x is equal to 25. The next step is to check the coefficient of the x squared term. We need that to be a 1. Currently I've got a 2. So I need to divide this term by 2. And if I do that to the x squared term, I must do it to every other term. Again, to keep the equation balanced. Now these twos will cancel, so I'm left with x squared plus the 8 and the 2, or so that will give me 4, 8 divided by 2 is 4, x equals 25 over 2. We now come on to the actual completing the square step. So we're going to have something on the left squared is equal to 25 over 2 plus something else squared. Now inside the brackets, obviously we have an x to give us this x squared. We've got the x here and the squared, so that's x squared. We then need to look at the coefficient of the x term, that is four. It's positive, so we know we're going to have a positive here. And we take that coefficient, so we've got the four, and we divide it by two. Four divided by two is two. Now I do the same thing to the right hand side. I take that coefficient, which is four, and divide it by two, which will give me two, but I need to square it, so two squared. So I've got x plus two squared is equal to, now let's simplify this along here. We've got 25 over two, and we've got four here. So this bit here, that's four. And I can write four as eight over two. So what I've got is 25 over 2 plus 8 over 2. And obviously that simplifies to 33 over 2. So I've got x plus 2 squared is equal to 33 over 2. Now the next step is to eliminate this squared here. And I do that by taking the square root. Now if I take the square root to the left, I must take the square root of the right. Now what you need to remember is be very careful and always put in the plus and minus. When you take the square root of this number, you will get a positive and a negative answer. Now on the left, the square root and the squared will cancel. So what I'm left with here is x plus two, and that is equal to plus or minus the square root of 33 over two. Now the last step is to eliminate the plus 2, and we do that by subtracting 2 from both sides. So we end up with x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 33 over 2. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.